Thank you for tuning in to TTV. I'm your host, Toya, and today is Freedom Friday. And the topic for today is Your Mind Can Free You. But before we get started, please like, subscribe, and share because if you get anything out of this content, chances are someone else will as well. Um, so why not share with those you know, love, and care about? Also, check out the links below for my book. Um, T's collection as well as the link for Young Living Essential Oils because they are the best in the business. They do not sponsor me, but I am a distributor for them and find that they are the best in the business. So check out those links below. So let's get into it. Your mind can free you. So where am I getting this idea from? So I've done a lot of self-improvement, self-healing, self-discovery, whatever you want to call it. One of the programs I used was called um, LMM, L-M-A life master achievers okay and this it was a program that was created by a man named tim han okay h-a-n tim han um his program was really really good and one of the things that i got out of it and one of the things that i still am you know working on because life is healing life is a constant progress you always working and moving towards being the best version of yourself whether you'll meet it or you don't you know it's something that you work on and so one of the things that I've learned from him, or I shouldn't say learn from him because it was something I knew, but just got reiterated by him as well as getting tools on how to work on it. I got from him, but your mind can free, free you. Okay. Any situation that you are in, the way you feel about that situation is how you look at it. So if you feel like you're suffocating, like you can't breathe because of that situation, it's because of how you're looking at it. If you feel like it's all overwhelming, it's because of how you're looking at it. If you feel like it's something that's impossible, it's because of how you're looking at it. And so once you change your thoughts about it, once you change how you're looking at it, you can change how you actually approach it. And by changing how you approach it, you can free yourself of it, okay? It doesn't become the issue that you think it is or that you, you thought it was. Um, which is why I like the phrase so much about a problem is just a question that needs an answer because it brings it down and it simplifies it into a matter to where it's not this huge, humongous obstacle that's in your way. It's just a question that needs an answer. So like when you were in school and you were taking your test and you had questions on that test and you just had to answer the test. That's it. You just had to answer those questions. Well, problems are just like that. They're just, you know, questions that need answers. And so how you approach that question determines the answer that you get and determines how you feel about the answer that you get and determines how you feel about the whole category itself to begin with. So if I'm sitting there struggling with something, um, let me give you guys an example, something that I've been, that's been bothering me. Um, so... Part of what I'm doing, I have to deal with one of the states, one of the um, state departments, the Register of Deeds office. And it was very frustrating to me and I felt myself becoming overwhelmed having to deal with the Deeds office because I'm trying to record some stuff there that I know they're supposed to record, but they're giving me pushback telling me they're not. And I know it's because they don't have the same understanding that I do. And so I could sit back and I can go back and forth with these people and sit in this office and, you know, make a whole big to do out of it. Or I can ask myself the question on how can I go around these people to get what it is that I need to get done? And that was the question. That was the question. How do I go around these people who don't know and don't understand to get done what I need to get done? And there was a couple of things that came back to me as an answer. One is go to the head honcho because the head honcho knows so that's what i did i went to the head honcho i also went to the head honcho's boss <laughs> okay so that's two and so now i'm sitting there waiting on them to respond to me um but that was how i came up with the solution to the question that was the problem the issue the thing that i wanted to get get over so at first it was overwhelming and i'm caught up in these negative feelings and then it's like you know what stop way it just stop it's not that big of a deal so let's reevaluate this and look at it on a more simpler level look at this in a different light what is the question because this is how i approach my problems now this is how i approach issues now when they come to me what is the problem well this is the problem okay and then when i put that problem into a question form it becomes so much simpler it becomes so much 
doable <laughs> okay it's not this massive thing that is tormenting my nights and you know giving me restless sleep and all of that it's just a question you know it's just something that's simple and I, I just need to figure out what the answer is and you go do like you did when you were in grade school the teacher gave you homework you took it home they gave you these questions you had to answer these questions if you didn't know the answer you went to your resources which were your books or if you, you know you want these kids nowadays you go on the internet you go to your resources that you need to go to to answer the question and then once you get the answer to the question you implement it that's it it's just that simple but we get caught up in our mind and we get caught up in thinking about how difficult something is we get caught up in our emotions and how overwhelming it is and how it just seems so impossible that we can't do it and you know our whole perception of it just becomes this negative ball that starts winding down the hill getting bigger and bigger and bigger and more out of control to where if we were just to sit back and say you know what let me look at this in a different manner and one of the things that I really like to remind myself of to put things in perspective is this parable. So the parable goes like this. And I don't know if this was an email that went around or how it started, but I've known this for years. OK, and since I, the very first time I heard this years and years and years ago, um, I've used it ever since to remind myself when I feel like I'm overdoing it. I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm in my own way. Then I take a step back and I relook at it and I do this because of this parable. So the parable goes like this. You have the semi truck that is stuck under the un, uh, under the overpass. OK, so you got the bridges where the cars above the freeway go, you know, to get to the other side and keep going. That's your overpass. OK, so the truck is stuck up under there and you have all these people in the city trying to get get this truck from up under this underpass so they're talking about you know destroying the bridge they're talking about taking the truck apart they're talking about you know all these different things that you know you got the engineers out there the mayors out there police fire department architects you know all these people out here trying to figure out how to get this semi truck from up stuck up under this underpass okay from under this bridge and nobody's they coming up with all these outrageous things you have a kid who's holding his mama hand in the crowd and he like well why don't they just let the air out of the tires something so simple so simple if you let the air out of the tires and you push it then guess what it's not gonna be that tall and you can get it from up under the bridge but they going through all these different problems and all these different ways of trying to figure out how to take apart the bridge and all this craziness to get this truck from up under the pass when all you really need to do is just let the air out of the tires so I use that parable to put myself back into focus I use that parable to take a step back and look at it as a child will look at it like in its most simplest form because as adults we tend to complicate things we tend to overdo it so I go back to looking at it like a child will look at it what's the most simplest way of looking at this issue and breaking it down from there so like let's say it's a bill you have that you need you let's say it's a $200 bill you just don't have the money for it it is doing like three days and you trying to figure it out how do I pay this bill so let's think about it on the simplest level. You could think about how your check ain't coming in until another three weeks from now, or you could talk about how, you know, you waiting on your income tax check. You can have all these other issues, you know, that you're waking up. You, you have $150, but you need to put gas in your car and use that for groceries, so you can't do that. You don't really want to borrow no money from nobody. And, you know, you're going through all these different things, but the really the basis of that problem is, is you have a bill and you need $200. To pay the bill that's it that's the bottom line of it it's nothing no more complicated than that there's no bigger issue of that that's all it is well guess what you also have a coin jar in your in your closet that you've been putting coin in for forever so guess what i'm sure you got more than 200 dollars in that coin jar if you don't have that then i'm sure you got something you can sell you don't have that i'm sure you can bake something or cook something and go take it to somebody you can't cook and bake you can use five dollars and go get you a cake slice it up and sell them pieces of cake you know the you might get like 12 pieces of cake out of there and sell them 12 pieces of cake for four dollars a slice and guess what now you got some money coming towards it do that take twenty dollars and tr you know quadruple that and you end up with your two hundred dollars you you can start to think simple simple it doesn't have to be something major it doesn't have to be some this huge obstacle in your way you just have to break it down to a simple level and then attack it that way look at it that way 
Because we make everything such a fight out of everything, and everything is not a fight. It's not. It's not. The fighting is part of the problem. We, we're so busy with fright, fighting and fighting for things that we don't know how to let them come to us. But that's a whole nother video. <laughs> so we're not even going to go down that line. But anyway, so that's the message for today. It's just really change the way you're looking at your problems. Change the way you're looking at your issues. Bring them down to a more simple level so that you can actually feel better. They do. You don't feel so overwhelmed about it. And then you can sit back and you can turn around and, you know, handle it that way and free your own self from the overwhelming feeling and feeling like it's just impossible, something that you can't do. And that's how you free yourself. But anyway, I love you and I will talk to you tomorrow.